In primetime news this evening, step down. Minister of Education demands that the head of the CPFSA must go in the wake of a damning OCA report. E-traffic ticket to come into effect next month. And later, no gold experts weighing on the gold rush in Hanover community. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Giovanni Dennis. And I am Andrea Chisholm with a preview of what's to come in the business day. Here's Javon Keys. Thanks, Andrea. The World Bank has put out its latest global outlook, and guess what? They've downgraded the projections for this year and next year. I'll give you the details later on. And with a preview of what's to come in sports, here's Jordan Fort. Well, Gio, the uh, Sunshine Girls will be in action against England Roses in the first of three matches uh, tomorrow. Will the Sunshine on the Roses? That's the question. I'll tell you the details in primetime sports later on. Thank you, Jordan. And Romain is also on set to tell us what's coming up in primetime weather. Thanks so much, Andrea. We still have that trough system affecting the central portion of the Caribbean, and we still have thunderstorm activity affecting much of the Greater Antilles. Thank you, Romain. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. And this evening we're asking, what do you think should be done to better protect children in state care? Share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica, and tweet us at television jam one. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. <laughs> 